Hey guys, welcome to Anvar's Virtual Solutions. Today I'm gonna go over your rice profile and background check. I'm not just gonna tell you how to do it, I'm actually gonna show you. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step process as I do it, you'll watch me do my profile and you'll watch me do my background check. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, welcome back to Anvar's Virtual Solutions. Like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create your rice profile and background check. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start on Google just like this. Arise. Obviously, you're going to have to spell that wrong. Arise.com. Once you search for Arise.com, you're going to get Arise Virtual Solutions link here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You see on the top here this orange button, register now. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to click United States. And this is how you start your profile, guys. Can you click I understand to all three verbiages here? Then it's going to ask you to create a profile. I'm just going to go ahead and input your information and then, you know, I'll input mine uh, for you here. So you can watch me do it. Or stay. I guess all of you are going to know my date of birth now, which is completely fine. Go ahead and put in the email. Remember, guys, whatever email you put here on your rights profile will be the email that you're going to get all your notification, any update, any, you know, arise notifications, and things like that. So, there's an email that you do have to keep track of at all times, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and put that email there. I'm just going to use a dummy email here, guys. Um, just for the purposes of showing you guys how to how to get started. Let's go ahead and put in our username there. And then you're going to create your password. And once all this information is in, we're going to go ahead and click continue. All right, guys, now that we have entered some basic information, we're going to fill out some additional information here. We're still creating the profile, just a little bit more, and we'll be done with the creation of our Arise profile. So let's go ahead and put in our address here. And just go ahead and, you know, continue to fill in your information as I'm filling in mine here. And then here for service phone, if you already have a landline, which is what you will need to service the client, then, you know, you could already input your service phone number here. If you don't have a service phone number, you can leave that blank. Do not worry. And um, you can input that at a later time. Um, you know, so that's not going to be a problem at all. You're going to continue down. Were you referred to Arise by an independent business owner or current client support professional? So you were referred to Arise by us. So you're going to go ahead and put yes here. Here you're going to put our ID number, 1029260. You're going to click the little search bar here. It's going to populate Fernandez Hector. And that is our IBO owner. So that's how you were referred to us to Arise Virtual Solutions. How did you hear about Arise? I'm going to continue this here. Um, let's say here on a banner ad. Please enter highest level of education. And we're just going to continue entering everything here. I'm going to ask you for what kind of what kind of equipment do you own? Um, if you own a PC, if you own a Mac, I own a PC. So you have a, 
what industries you might have experience in, business you know, services, uh, maybe call contact uh, center, then ask you, please tell us what certifications you currently hold. If you hold any certification, guys, it's nice to go ahead and put them on here. Um, just look through here, and if you, you know, if anything applies to you, go ahead and put it in. Is English your primary language? Um, yes, it is. Do you know any other language you might have? Um, I'm also fluent in Spanish, guys. So um, let's go ahead and look for that here. Spanish, perfect. And then once I have everything filled out, guys, I'm going to go ahead to the bottom here and click Next. I see I left this field empty. Well, okay, I just go ahead and put non, non here. And then I can just continue by clicking Next. And guys, now we have completed our RISE profile. As you can see here, there's going to be my profile, my user ID, um, and you know my information is within my profile. I can log out from here. And this is what my dashboard will look like. So as you can see, guys, I have already created the profile. Now my next step on the assessment will be my background check. Follow that by your non-disclosure agreements, joining RIBO and then selecting a client you want to service. All right, guys, now that we have completed our Arise profile, let's go ahead and get started on our background check. We're going to go ahead and click Start Now. Then you're going to see some things that you do need to know. You're going to have to read over these in regards to your background check. Instructions for completing your background check. So it's going to show you exactly, you know, what you need to do. Give you a little time to read that. All right, now you're going to enter your social security number here. Okay. Now this is for your background check, as we said. And as you can see, the form in which you need to enter it is number, 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 and then dash, and then you continue. It's going to have two dashes within the social security number, so it's not just you know, all your entire social security number, no dashes. As you can see here, this is the format that you will need to enter it in, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, now once you've entered your social security number here, you're going to go ahead and click Next, and it's going to take you to a separate page. It's going to ask you to proceed to website. This is the website that Arise Virtual Solution uses to have the background checks done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed to website. As you can see here, this site is called First Advantage Corporation. They are huge when it comes to background checks. They do background checks for various Fortune 500 companies, and it's a secure site, as you can see here. So here, it's going to welcome you here to complete your background check registration. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and fill out this background registration information. I'm going to go ahead on Country of Residence. United States, you're going to create a password, which is going to be for this registration and for this site, for the First Vantage Corporation site. All right. Security question, what city were you born in? And let's go ahead and enter the verification characters. They always make these so difficult. I have no idea why they always make them so difficult. Oh, as you can see, it definitely failed that one. Let's go ahead and try this one. I think I got this one. It might be a little bit easier. All right, so save and continue there. 
You're going to go ahead and click a e-signature consent form. If you want, you can go ahead and read over this here. I have read and accepted the e-signature terms outlined above. Click yes. So I have today's date. Consent. Then it's going to have a disclosure and authorization form, which you can go ahead and read through. Let me go ahead and just scroll right through here. You guys can read that as you're doing your profile and background check. All right, so here we're going to enter some more information. We're going to have the terms of this, this online profile, country, address. Check here to receive a copy of your consumer report. Um, yeah, you could check on there if you want to receive that copy. And then here you're gonna you're gonna use your mouse to sign an electronic signature. So you hold down the left on your mouse and then you go ahead and you sign that. If you want to clear it and redo it, you can click clear here and redo it again. Here you're gonna click I consent. Let's try the zip code here. You're going to click I consent there once you're done filling out this information. Now it's going to ask you for personal information. Here you're going to go ahead and fill out your personal information, um, the vacation numbers. Uh, personal details, aliases, client references. Um, guys, here on this step, I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap it up here. Um, as you can see, once you're done here, you're going to be going through your address history, document upload, and review profile. This does start to ask for some personal information since it is your background check. And, you know, I want everyone to feel secure. I want to feel secure with my information myself. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Once you finish your profile, the next step would be jo to join RIBO. Now, once you've done with your RISE profile and your background check, you're going to go ahead and contact us directly. You can find us on you know, any one of our social medias or any one of our contact information down below. We always leave it down below on all of our YouTube videos. And you can contact us through there. All right, guys. I hope you guys like the content that we're putting out. If you do like it, go ahead and subscribe and like below. If you have any questions for me in regards to the video or anything else, leave it in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to answer any one of your questions. Go ahead and give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat. We're everywhere on social media, guys. I'll catch you guys next time.